All right, what up y'all, it's Matt. So I made a bunch of videos a while back of me getting this air compressor off of Craigslist and fixing it up. And somebody commented yesterday and said, all those videos fixing this thing up and you never once showed it running. And I was like, you know what? He's right, I did it. So I'm gonna show you guys my setup and give you the rundown and show you everything and let you hear this thing run. All right guys, so here's the setup from the top down. I got a washable air filter in here and uh, I just wash it and reuse it, that works well. I got the valves, they're doing really well. I rebuilt these in uh, that one video. So then if we come down, come down, we have this thing here, they call it like a saucer UFO shape thing. Basically when it's done running, it just uh, siphons, it sends a slug of air in here and it siphons uh, the moisture out of the bottom of the tank and then blows it out uh, outside. I'll show you that. But I had to run a copper line here come down come down come down it's gonna be a little dark and then I have this valve here where I purge the air out and it siphons off and stuff here and it just comes here and it just siphons off and blows out the back of the garage so it gets the moisture out of the bottom of my tank I've got a pressure valve here um, it cuts on at 140 cuts off at 175 I have the uh, contactor here i had to replace a heater in here to get it to work right with the five horsepower motor but basically i have everything ran in this uh, nice conduit and it cuts on at 140 cuts off at 175 in here square d uh, pressure switch then i have it going here up to this disconnector right here and it just gives me a nice handle so i can see if it's on or off and you know shut it off at night and then it goes to the sub panel, which is nice. It's right here. I've got a 50 amp breaker in there. And that, uh, you know, that's sufficient. I haven't, it hasn't tripped the breaker once at all. All right, guys. So here's the wiring setup here. Um, basically, this is 8 gauge THHW, THHN, gasoline, and oil resistant. Basically, it's 8 gauge here. And you can see how I got it wired up. Uh, this comes in off of the disconnector up here. Where does it come in? It comes in up the top, comes in the top of the contactor here, and then it goes out here and goes out to the motor right here, and it goes in that box. And I just got these giant wire nuts on here, and um, you can see the little wires down in there. See the little wires down in there? They go to the pressure switch but basically there's that heater right there that I had to replace because somebody it shipped with the wrong one in there and it wasn't right for the motor but that's basically a setup single phase five horsepower you can see this contactor is rated I bought the one that's rated up to seven and a half horsepower you see so if I want to upgrade this in the future all I have to do is swap out the motor and all my wiring is fine it's eight gauge so it's more than strong enough for a seven and a half horsepower motor and then we have this tube i put down here it's supposed to collect water and blow it out the bottom um but i haven't gotten a drop of water out of there because i have this regulator on here three quarter inch pipe comes up three quarter inch ball valve um you know comes up here i got a 90 right there so there's no kink comes up comes in here and it's got a filter in here and it collects the water and it's got a little sight glass on it i'll put links in the description if y'all want to get one of these i got off of amazon basically you can loosen this and it'll blow the the moisture out the bottom and then i have this regulator right here it's not going to focus but i've had the only problem i've had is this thing it's got this hole right here it weeps out and uh, I don't know what's wrong. I've taken it apart, the diaphragm in here, but it can it can weep air out of there. It's kind of annoying, but you know I play with the pressure here, and then uh, I get it set right where I want it. And then I just have I have another uh, manifold right here where I can tap into it and put like you know a half inch, a big boy fitting on there, and you know hook a big old line right into it if I need to. And I have no restrictions anywhere. That's the thing people weren't getting is uh, no restrictions like this is a half inch air hose goes up to my hose reel and these are uh, 
what do they call them? Yellow brass. They're like machined brass fittings. So they're very strong up to whatever, 2000 PSI or something. I have no restrictions anywhere. No restrictions. It's all free flowing, you know, three quarter inch pipe everywhere. No restrictions. Just restricts down a little bit right here. So I got all different kinds of air tools on here. You know, I got a paint sprayer, blow gun, air ratchet, air hammer, chisel, two drills, um, die grinder. This thing eats air, a lot of air. And then I got my uh, half inch Ingersoll Rand impact. And basically I got these high flow air fittings on every single one of them. I made a couple videos on that before. You can check it out up here if you want to check it out, but it helps a lot. So I'm going to show you how I fine tune my air system pressures. All right, so the thing is, you know, at 125 PSI, like I have it set here, when you pull the trigger on the tool, it drops down. So you gotta compensate for uh, the loss in pressure and all the hoses, and they have charts and stuff online. But basically, the gist of it is, I normally set this like, you're supposed to run 90 PSI. If I have a lot of hoses on here, you know, I'll set it to 120, 125 or whatever. And the whole thing is you make a special gauge right there. You know, you put a gauge and a T fitting and pull the trigger to see what the pressure is. And then, you know, you get it to say 90 PSI here. And then that doesn't really matter. It's set to whatever it's supposed to be, but you can see the drop when I pull the trigger. So you just kind of kind of play with it until you actually get 90 PSI at the tool and you can make an inline gauge to hook it up, you know, and just get it so, you know, you're running 90 PSI on all your tools. But basically, that's the setup. It's been running great. Changed the oil a couple times. No problems at all. Um, I'm going to turn it on here and let y'all hear it run. You hear a discharge right there. It just shoots that air. Got a 90 here. Shoots it right out, right out the bottom. Shoots it right outside and gets all that water and moisture out of there. So basically when I'm done for the night, cut it off there, cut it off there. I don't normally drain the air out of here. I normally just leave it like that. But that's the setup, guys. Like I said, it's an awesome air compressor. Um, you know, I'll post the specs down in the description. I don't have them right off the top of my head, but it's something like 16 CFM at 175 PSI. So this is an awesome compressor. It's awesome. I've had no problems at all, guys. So that's the video. All right, guys, so that's it for the video. I'll check y'all out on the next one. Peace.